So let's get into why people are choosing to leave Canada. Hello boys and girls of Chisom Bill, welcome to another YouTube video. If you're new here, hello, I'm Chisom, I'm a new immigrant in Canada. About seven months ago, I moved here with my husband on a visit visa. Currently, I am studying to get my MBA and my husband is currently working full time. So, we, I know we haven't stayed so long here in Canada, but we have experienced some things, right? I have seen some things and I have watched some people, I've heard some experiences as to why people are currently leaving Canada in 2023. I know you have seen many variations of this video, but trust me, Chisong is giving you a deeper context to things. One of the very first reasons that people, I've seen people you no, know, think about moving back home, right, or leaving Canada is because of the wrong choices they made in terms of school. You know, people don't tell you that the school that you, the course that you choose to go um, to study or the school you decide to go to are very, very important. So we have some people, we have some cases where some people don't have their tuition they don't have enough money to pay for their tuition fee and their plan is that they would come to canada and combine you know schooling with um the side jobs that they have in order to be able to pay their tuition and if you're if that is your plan it is not a bad plan but where it can hurt you is now when you go and choose a course that <laughs> that number one is very expensive Number two, it's very, very stressful. So I will speak for the course I'm currently studying. I'm studying, currently studying at MBA. And I know that it's definitely hard if you don't have the complete tuition or at least very close to it, right? You don't have it. And your living is very much dependent on you coming here and working a side job, which is just 20 hours a week. It's going to be very hard to combine all that with schooling and trying to get your MBA without failing because MBA is a joke. If your route is similar to what I just described, it's really better to go for courses that are just calm. You know, go for courses that as you're taking it, your heart is not beating because hmm. So the second reason, I mean, it's very obvious. Everybody that comes to Canada talks about the Canadian weather. But they never really actually go deep into like the effect of the Canadian weather. I know that there is cold, like there's the cold beats, but there's that part that kind of encourages depression. Like you would look outside by 5 p.m. and it's dark, like it's it's 12 midnight, or it's raining, or it's just gloomy, it's just sad. And for a country where like maybe half of the year it's it's like winter it's cold it's gloomy and maybe you're now somebody that is an extrovert you want to be going out you want to mingle you want to meet people <laughs> my dear it's already it's, 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 it's you can see the red flag as i've described you said you can see the red flag there the third one here is um community now this is specifically speaking to Nigerians, right? Because over here, I've seen some pe like some people from other countries actually form. It's very easy for them to form like good communities here or join communities here, and that's like the Indian people, Indian immigrants here. It's so easy for them to just join a community, but it's not the same thing here as a Nigerian. And to be honest, do I blame Nigerians for just coming here and just wanting to focus on their focus? I don't because I've actually also, like, I've experienced some things where I'm just like, nah, you know what, like, I'm just going to just look away and just focus on my focus because this is not it, right? So, when people come here and, again, like, down to being an extrovert, you like to meet people, but you come here and it's hard and people are not, like, you know that kind of friendliness that you experience in Nigeria is like you come here and it's not that way people are just laser focused you know don't want no troubles like it actually does affect some people and they're like ah, I can't really deal with this I think 
you know i'm maybe going to the, they try to then switch and go to maybe to the uk or to the us where they feel like they will actually find more nigerians then it's easier to actually form or join a community there so that's another reason then another one is the expenses i mean like people are just like oh yes it's, it's expensive in canada this and that but like they don't tell you how deep it is one thing i will say though is every country or at least the countries that i would say matter right that we all know of they are all facing expenses yeah, everybody always complain about expenses expenses inflation but i guess because when if you're coming as a new immigrant and you're coming with, with, in with your naira right it's people like when you're comparing the two currencies it's like ah it's better in nigeria but the truth is that the the same way people are complaining in Nigeria is the same way they are complaining here in Canada as well. Like there's just inflation. Like I'm literally, you need to just check TikTok, check Twitter, search, use the keywords. You will see a lot of videos on that subject matter. So some people come here and they don't expect the expenses that slap them. <laughs> just the breeze that blows just comes with billing. <laughs> God. So some people come here, you know, maybe they, they have source funds, joint money together, they come to Canada and they give everybody back their money. Or maybe like they just found a way to just, you know, rig my role and just come here without actually having those funds. Then when they come here, they now see that they actually need those funds to survive because you are paying for everything here in Canada. You are paying for light, of course, you are paying for water. You're paying for parking lots, you're paying for insurance, you're paying like you're paying many small. You pay for the air you breathe. The air you pay for it as well. <laughs> so you see that money that they are telling you, ah, make sure you have it, proof of funds. It's very important, it's for your own good. And the last but not the least, right, is in terms of job search. Like to some people like many people they've come here maybe they were like managers in nigeria they were senior guys and everything and then they come here and it's either they after spending months and months to look for a job is either maybe they don't find a job or the job that they even find like you have to start from scratch or something just to get the canadian experience you get that kind of thing or maybe your skill sets in what you where you worked in nigeria is not like like useful here you know because there's some jobs that are very lucrative here in canada and there are some jobs that they're not as lucrative maybe they are more lucrative in the u.s or maybe more lucrative in where you're even coming from that kind of thing so there's that bit so some people come here and they struggle with that and they're like it's not that deep they just carry their things and just go back you know go back home or try to look for maybe how they'll move to the u.s or to the uk and all of that now on my end with everything that I've noticed, will I? What, what, what's my stand on it? To, am I planning to leave Canada and all of that? My brother, my sister, like I told you, I'm barely seven months here in Canada, right? I just started school. Don't worry, the schooling vlogs are coming. I just started school. So for me, it's too early to, you know, gauge and make any rash decisions. But I will say this. I'm not someone that is like, okay, ah, Canada, 50 years, I'm like, I must be here for 50 years. I must have my house here. Like, for me, the way I see it is that um, it's, it's a season for me, like, and my family. Like, we have goals to achieve here in Canada, right? There's a reason God has planted us here. And it's like, oh, once we are done with fulfilling whatever we are supposed to fulfill, if, it's, if we are moved by the spirit to move to another country, my dear, we'll carry our bags and we'll move. They no join, they no gum my leg in the in Canadian soil, to be honest. It's not that, I don't know how to explain it. It's all about having goals and achieving the goals that we want to achieve, you know. I can't tell you that, oh, I want to retire here. It might be another country. It might be Switzerland. It might be US. It might be Dubai. Do you understand? Like yeah like i'm just open like i'm literally an open vessel wherever god takes us right we are both open vessels wherever god takes us but in the meantime we know that we have quite a number of things and goals to achieve here in canada and we're just going to keep working till we achieve those goals you know 
and that's pretty much it that's currently the feeling here so there's no country you go to that you will not have um issues that you would face right it's just as you're coming just be prepared come with the money because first of all man must chop right once you have the money right that you're coming with at least some of your problems are solved then you can focus on other problems that kind of thing you know that's life so that's pretty much where i stand and that's pretty much the end of this video let me know if you want me to you know as i as i experience more in the canadian setting maybe i can do another video as to what people are living i can also do another video as to why people are coming because there are actually quite some unique reasons why people are coming here so let me know what you like me to see and that's pretty much the end of this video don't forget to like comment subscribe share everything and i will see you in the next one bye